Hello, nerds. Thank you for joining me here on Nerd News Clips. This is the second channel. Uh, this is the place for all of the short form content as well as the individual sections and just generally speaking, smaller things. If you are into the longer form content, youtube.com slash generally nerdy is the place to go see that. With that out of the way, let's get into this. <laughs> Let's move right along into gaming and tech. Our first, uh, we have some follow-ups in gaming and tech. So first up, we're going to talk a little bit about Halo because, you know, I'm kind of addicted. Uh, Halo Infinite Season 2 has been announced. We do know that the title for Season 2 is going to be Lone Wolves. We have seen the release of the armor core that you're going to get in season two when you buy the battle pass, which is very different from the armor core set that you're going to get uh, for the main event that is going to happen during season two. So the way it seems that they've been breaking this up recently is you have the season. So you have the battle pass that you have to pay for, which for season one was $10, very possibly is going to drop Probably not, but possibly uh, for season two. But so you have the, the main battle pass that is the season battle pass. And then it seems, at least if they're going on the same model that they did for season one, there's a main event that happens where you get some free gear. And then there's going to be a couple of minor events that happen. So the main event happens for multiple weeks. Each minor event only happens for a single week. So uh, the major event armor core is going to be uh, the one that looks like it comes from Fallout that we've talked about on the shorts channels. Uh, it looks pretty freaking amazing, but there's go also going to be a new armor core for the season battle pass as well. So that's pretty epic. We have two new maps have also been announced, Catalyst and Breaker. Catalyst is going to be an arena map. So it's going to be one for the comp competitive crowd. And then Breaker is going to be a big team battle map that looks interesting. I'm not a much of a big team battle player myself, but definitely looks like it's going to be worth a little bit of exploring. Uh, there is also going to be the introduction of new story elements for multiplayer, which I still don't exactly know what that means. Are we going to have to pay for these story things? Is it going to be just another snippet like we got for the training at the beginning of season one? Uh, that is still a little murky. I haven't been able to suss out any details there. Uh, and it is not going to launch like they had originally planned with the campaign multiplayer. Now, uh, this it should be noted that we've all been expecting something different than what they're planning on delivering when it comes to campaign multiplayer, because apparently what they're actively working on is not just multiplayer over Wi-Fi or over the Internet connection, but it's going to be couch co-op which is not exactly what we expected. Uh, I uh, honestly never played Halo 5 for whatever reason. Uh, so I don't know if the multiplayer in Halo 5 was couch co-op, but the multiplayer for Halo Infinite is going to be couch co-op. And that's what's taking the most time to work out, which was news to a lot of the community. They are still planning on releasing a uh, multiplayer campaign or co-op campaign rather. Uh, inside of season two. So they have three months roughly uh, to work out whatever details they're still trying to iron out. But that is what we have for Halo Infinite. Next, we have a Dead Space update. Uh, Motive Studios uh, said that they're going to have a state of play on the 11th. So Friday. Day, I think is when that is. Uh, there's going to be a state of play, so we're going to see the state that the game is in on the 11th for a live stream from Motive. Follow the link down in the description if you are... Uh, eh. I, I, I think you can just go to their YouTube channel. Uh, I don't know. We'll, I will definitely keep you posted. Uh, we'll probably have to watch it in post, though, because I don't know if I'm going to be able to catch that on the 11th. That is what we have for follow-ups and corrections. Next, we're going to be talking about World of Warcraft. April 19th is... They made an announcement for an announcement. They, they will be announcing the next uh, expansion for the long-running MMORPG on April 19th. And then in May, we will see the official reveal of the World of Warcraft mobile game. So that's very interesting. And then uh, just as because is the, I guess this could have gone in TV streaming, but we're going to put it here because it's a podcast. But it's a podcast about a show. Uh, the guys that do It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia have started a podcast where they kind of sometimes talk about the show. It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Uh, I just felt like putting that in here to shine a little bit of light on it again because I don't know 
that a lot of the fan base know it exists, though it's been around for now 22, 23 episodes, and it's starting to get pretty big. So go check out the link in the description if you are interested in It's Always Sunny, because honestly, it's like bonus DVD content between Charlie Mac and Dennis. Uh, it's pretty awesome. But all right, so now we're into suggestions. Gaming and tech suggestions. Uh, we're gonna start things off with Dead Space. Going a retro on you uh, for the first one. Just the first Dead Space game is the only one I'm recommending here. If you really dig it, then Dead Space 2 is fantastic as well. Just not on the same level. Dead Space 3, a, a fair amount less. <laughs> so Dead Space, the very first Dead Space, absolutely if you can get your hands on that i believe it's on the xbox backward compatibility list i don't know how you're going to play it on the playstation network but it is absolutely uh worth a replay and then the other suggestion on here is also kind of a retro suggestion and it's cuphead oh my god it's cuphead <laughs> uh if you like very challenging games but are not much for FromSoft's idea of challenging then try out cuphead because that's a challenging on a whole different level. Uh, that's all I'm gonna say. It's it's like if FromSoft did a, a Mickey Mouse game. That's <laughs> that's that's how that goes. All right, so. Once again, this has been just a brief segment from the larger episode that has been posted over on the main channel, youtube.com slash nerdy. Go over there for the long form content or just subscribe here if you want it in bite-sized chunks. Thank you very much for joining me, nerds. We'll see you in the next one. Before we go though, always, always remember that if it's generally nerdy, it's probably here.